Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another Dungeons and Dragons miniature review thing. Uh, so this time we have the um, Icons of the Realms Monster Menagerie 3 Case Incentive. This is the Kraken. Flip this over real quick. Sorry. The Kraken. Very cool looking. So this was a, um, a Case Incentive for uh, people that were purchasing part of the Monster Menagerie 3 booster packs of the miniatures. Very cool looking. Um, for whatever reason, they kind of went with a generic artwork on the front. Uh, we've seen this with a couple of the like um, adventure packs and things like that, like the, uh, the starter set for miniatures. Uh, so very nice, but it unfortunately doesn't tell you anything about what's in the, th the box. You gotta go all the way over to the back and to the side to figure out what's in this thing. And once you do, you are rewarded with this awesome picture of the actual Kraken itself. Very nice. So just uh, looking at the rest of the box here, so the side has a very nice uh, kind of picture of the actual Kraken itself. Uh, we get the kind of breakdown of what's included here on the back. We get a couple of the other pieces here on the side. The top is kind of that same artwork, um, the larger version of it this time. So that's nice that we get to see more of the full artwork here. The bottom just has the copyright information, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So yes, let's go ahead and open this thing up and uh, take a look and unleash the Kraken. <laughs> All right, so he's got uh, three pieces of tape here. And then this thing should just slide open. I'm kind of excited about this thing. Um, I wasn't sure about it when I first uh, heard about it from my local game store. <laughs> but now that I'm seeing it, I am uh, very much impressed so far. <laughs> this thing is massive and huge and awesome. And we got all sorts of little bits in here. Oh. Okay, so we got a big old couple of pieces of tape here holding this thing on. Um, let's just try to pull that off. It's not going to pull off easy. I'm going to have to cut it. There we go. All sorts of cool stuff in here. And we've got the cool Kraken. So the Kraken itself, very nice. Uh, we've got some twist ties holding this guy in. So I'm actually going to take my little snippers here. My snippers and uh, snip this thing because I don't feel like uh, dealing with having to uh, unwrap this thing. Toss that somewhere over to the side. Pull that one out and get down here on this corner. Pull that out. So that should be all of them. And now let's yank this bad boy out. He's in here pretty good. We might have to wiggle things around a little bit. There we go. That is the Kraken. All right, that is uh, really awesome looking there. Uh, so looking at the base here, very nice job here. They got them kind of coming out of the water. Very cool looking, uh, but we'll get into the details in a moment. Let's go ahead and dump out the rest of these accessories so we can see what's in here get the full effect going on but yeah um, I'm digging this thing so far so as I was uh, trying to say I uh, was not all that impressed with the uh, the concept behind it when I first heard about it it didn't really do a whole lot for me um, but it was interesting enough to kind of uh, justify telling my local guy to go ahead and uh, put one to the side for me. Uh, so, yes. 
I'm glad that I did that. So some cool sandbars here. And we've got a whole bunch of these tentacles here. Uh, so bear with me while I try to open all of them real quick. Forty-five B forty-five tentacles. Those are these are cool. They stand. <laughs> this is a lot cooler than it should be, to be honest with you. It does kind of suck having to go through and uh, open all these bags. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do at the end of this, as far as uh, how do you store it or anything like that. Um, so I will go ahead and, uh, while I'm opening these bags up, I will pose that as a question to y'all. How do you store some of these, uh, larger miniatures? Um, traditionally I just kind of use, uh, some of those, um, just storage bins. Like you get at, uh, Walmart or whatever it is, um, just a plastic storage bins. Uh, and that seems to work pretty well, but, um, I don't know about something like this. I've not really had one that's been quite so many pieces like this before most of like the larger scale dragons and things like that are still essentially one piece so there's not a whole lot of uh, extra storage to that or anything like that so I'm interested to, say, to hear what your thoughts are might take a few more minutes yet here All right, there are all of the tentacles, and we still have a couple of pieces over here. Uh, so we have this cool rowboat. With some oars. Very nice. I'm gonna stick that in there like that. Uh, then we got a treasure chest. I'm sorry if uh, y'all can't see this. I can't figure out where my camera is right now. <laughs> this thing's a little bit bigger than what I'm used to, and uh, my positioning is off a little bit. So, anyways, a cool-looking treasure chest, and the leg comes off of it. That's really awesome. Get back on there. I don't know if it'll stay or not, but we'll stick that in the back of the rowboat. And a cool pirate thing here. What is this? A uh, lump of treasure and a skeleton pirate guy thing and some sand and a boat thing. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. There's uh, all the pieces. So uh, this thing is actually pretty awesome, to be honest with you. Uh, so this is everything you get in the actual set. You get the uh, the large Kraken piece here. You get these uh, lots of little tentacles going every which way. We've got uh, two large ones that are kind of straight. You've got two of these smaller ones. And you've got two of these large crooked ones. <laughs> so very cool. Um, two sandbars. We'll uh, zoom in here in a minute and take a look at these pieces here. But yeah, this is this is really a good bang for your buck, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually really impressed here. So I'm going to set these things on their side for a few minutes here so we can go do some uh, review -y stuff here with it. <laughs> and so size comparison wise let's uh, just go ahead and knock that out first so you can kind of see the massiveness of this thing uh, I've got the Northlands fighter from the epic starter set um, just a regular 25 millimeter figure here he's kind of a barbarian kind of guy here but uh, this is kind of a standard player character uh, so you can kind of see the scale comparison here if we uh, line the two of these things up with their bases, you can see that this thing dwarfs this guy, which is uh, really amazing and really awesome. So that is pretty cool. 
even these tentacles, they just tower above this guy. In uh, comparison, though, the actual rowboat itself is a pretty good scale size here to this thing. So you can uh, set your guy in, in the boat. They don't quite fit in there. You have to kind of move it around, but they stands in there pretty good, actually. So that's pretty cool. So there's uh, the guy in the rowboat with the treasure chest in the back. So that is uh, that is pretty awesome. Uh, again, this guy does not come with it, but everything else on the screen right now comes in this set. So very nice, very cool looking. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit so we can see some detail work on this stuff. So bear with me while we zoom in. Uh, we'll try it at that point and see how well this works. Uh, let's start with the Kraken itself. Uh, yeah, let me go out just a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so, yeah, the uh, detail work on this guy is pretty damn badass. The sculpt itself is amazing. Uh, the paint job is passable. I think I would prefer to have a little bit more work done on this thing. But that's easily remedied if you are a painter. You can go back in and kind of fix it the way you want it. But, you know, out of the box still is very awesome looking. Massive. And the uh, the color of the actual water itself, it's a little bit lighter blue than I probably would have liked. But still nice and kind of frothy water effect here. So it's kind of that translucent plastic here. And it is plastic. You can kind of see that wiggling a little bit. So... Um, but still really nice there. You can kind of thump on it and you can see the hollowness underneath there anyways. But uh, there's you a picture of that. Yeah, this thing is awesome. Uh, let's take a look at the back of it here. Very sweet. That's freaking cool. Uh, and again, just a scale comparison here. So we've got uh, the two of these guys at the same height, basically. And then you can kind of see he kind of uh, would make a pretty good snack for this guy. Or you can fit him in his flippers or, you know, whatever else. So that, that is really cool. They did a really great job with this thing here. So very nice. Awesome. Uh, set that guy to the side here. So we have the just kind of sandbar sandbar thing here still really nice some nice texture work going on here pretty simple but uh works really good for just uh throwing sand out there somewhere and uh especially if you have like a, a blue play mat or something or a battle mat you can uh throw these things down and have a little sandbar in the middle of the ocean for this guy to come get you with <laughs> uh tentacles let's look at tentacles there's the big one very nice again you got the same frothy water there at the bottom we got our scale comparison here that uh, goes off the screen. So very sweet, very nice looking. Uh, the Again, not a whole lot of paint on this thing, um, but it's serviceable, works really well. So no real complaints from me on that. Here's the uh, crooked one. He's got a little bit different paint on it. Um, and then the little bitty one here. I say little, but it's still not little. It's still really big, but uh, smaller in comparison to those. And let's take a look at the, uh, the, this thing here. So uh, we'll zoom in a little bit more here, get a little bit closer. Uh, so this is the little uh, accessory piece here. You got a nice looking um, skeleton dude there on this uh, ship steering wheel. I don't know the name of these things. Uh, cool looking treasure down there at the bottom. Overall, very nice looking piece here. Uh, very good just to kind of throw out there in the middle of your uh, your sand barge for kind of a X marks the spot thing there. So pretty nice. Uh, let's look at the treasure chest. The treasure chest is very nice looking. Some really good detail work on here. You don't really need a whole lot to uh, get across the point of these treasure chests, but it still works really well. And it does have that removable lid here with uh, all the gold in the center of it i love gold scale wise 
still very cool looking. And I really do love the fact that this uh, pops off and you can kind of put it back on there. And it does hold pretty well here, so you can kind of hold it upside down and tap on it gently like and it doesn't come off. So it's in there pretty snugly, so very good job there. Uh, the rowboat. Here is the oar for the rowboat. Uh, pretty basic, nice wood texture on it. Looks really cool. Got two of those oars for the rowboat. And then the actual rowboat itself. Again, really nice kind of wood texture here. Some nice paint job on it. 2016 wizard. So I guess this was a reuse. I, is it 2000? No, this one didn't come out in 2016, did it? Have I had this thing that long? I'm just looking at the uh, the back here. No, it's 2018. That's what I thought. So the uh, Monster Menagerie 3 was in 2018. So I guess they reused this mold from something else. So if you know what this came from, uh, drop a comment down below. Let us know where this originally came from. But uh... oh, I guess it helps if I can actually read. It actually does say 2018 on it, so uh, I don't know what I was just seeing, but uh, whatever. It's a cool rowboat. Uh, the guy can stand in the uh, starboard port. I, I don't know. Stern. Whatever. He can fit in the front and he can fit in the back very nicely, very easily. Uh, he can also sit in the uh, center here, so you kind of... Um, Killed it a little bit and shoved the base up underneath there, and he fits in there very well. Nice and secure. Same thing for the other side. So you can get like four, maybe five guys in this thing pretty easily. Stand one on the center there. So yeah, very cool looking boat here. You may want to make sure you're facing in the right direction before you shove them in there, but... Uh, very nice. You can sing row, row, row your boat all day long with this thing. And again, the oars are a nice kind of touch to this thing. So you just kind of snap them in place here. And they do pretty well stay. So still may have to kind of be careful not to lose them. But uh, very cool looking though. I like this thing. This is a cool little boat. So anyways, uh, that is the set here. Uh, you get all this awesome epic stuff in this little box here. Uh, I think you can probably get this thing on Amazon now too, um, but I would say check with your local gaming store first to see if they can get you a copy of this. It's uh, definitely worth the admission price. This Kraken is just cracking. <laughs> Very awesome, very cool. I really can't recommend this thing enough. This thing is just badass. So, uh, yeah, go out and find this thing. It's cool. That's pretty much all the time we've got for today. So, uh, thanks for watching. Drop some comments down below. Let me know and let the rest of the world know what you think about this uh, Monster Menagerie 3 premium set, the uh, Kraken. Um, yeah, if you've... Uh, have used this in an actual game session. You know, what was your experience? What does this add to the table? If you're just a miniatures collector, you know, let us know what you think about this thing as well, because uh, it's nice to get the different viewpoints. Um, I've not, well, I just opened this thing, so obviously I haven't done anything with it, but I do have some plans for it now that it's on the table to actually get it on a play table and uh, start mixing it into a campaign somewhere. So. I'm kind of anxious now to see what I can come up with for that, but uh, very cool looking. I love these all these little tentacles going everywhere. Really awesome stuff here. So uh, yeah, you're you're not going to be disappointed with this set at all. So yeah, go find it. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, drop some comments, like, subscribe, share, and until next time, game on.